we present natural emergence of heterogeneous strategies in artificial intelligent competitive teams. Multi-agent systems can be beneficial in many scenarios such as disaster relief, defense against enemies, and games. Mixed cooperative competitive scenarios are difficult to model because they require an agent to cooperate with its teammates while competing with its opponents. For example, we design the fort attack environment in which the guards try to protect the fort from the attackers. The guards win if they manage to kill all the attackers or keep them away for an entire episode. Even if one attacker manages to reach the fort, the guards lose. To model interagent interactions, we propose to use graph neural networks with two layers of attention, which allows us to handle a large and variable number of agents. We share parameters across all agents of the same team, which allows them to share their experiences, but also renders them homogeneous. We train our agents using proximal policy optimization. The reward for guards is roughly a mirror image of the reward for the attackers, as victory for one team means defeat for the other. The rewards oscillate with multiple local extrema. These extrema correspond to increasingly complex strategies that evolve naturally. As one team gets better at its task, it creates pressure for the other team, which in turn comes up with a stronger and more complex strategic behavior. Let's look at these strategies in some detail. At the beginning of training, agents randomly move around and shoot in the wild. They explore trying to make sense of the fort attack environment and their goals in this world. Attackers eventually learn to approach the fort and the guards adopt a simple strategy to win. They all continuously flash their lasers creating a protection zone in front of the fort which kills any attacker that tries to enter. As guards block entry from the front, attackers approach from all the directions. Some of them get killed but one of them manages to sneak in from the side. In response to the sneaking behavior, the guards learn to spread out and kill all the attackers before they can sneak in. Tackle the strong guards, the attackers come up with the strategy of deception. Most of them move forward from the right while one holds back on the left. The guards start shooting at the attackers on the right, which diverts their attention from the single attacker on the left. This attacker quietly waits for the right moment to sneak in, bringing victory for the whole team. Note that this strategy requires heterogeneous behavior amongst the homogeneous agents, which naturally evolved without explicitly being encouraged to do so. We visualize the attention paid by one alive guard to all the other agents. This guard has a dark green dot at its center. All the other agents have yellow rings around them, with the sizes of the rings being proportional to the attention values. Agent 1 initially paid roughly uniform and low attention to all the attackers when they were far away. Then it started paying more attention to Agent 8, which was attacking aggressively from the right. Little did it know that it was being deceived by the clever attackers. When Agent 9 reached near the fort, Agent 1 finally started paying more attention to the sneaky Agent 9, but it was too late and the attackers had successfully deceived it. Finally, the guards learned to spread smartly, covering a wider region and killing attackers before they can sneak in. If we want to get strong guards, we can train a single guard policy against all the attacker strategies by randomly sampling one attacker strategy for each environment episode. In this case, we see a steadily increasing reward curve for the guards. We performed all our training on a standard commodity laptop and training took about 1-2 to two days without parallelizing the environment. We believe that the fort attack environment and our experiments which required reasonable computational resources would inspire further research in the field of scaling multi-agent reinforcement learning to mixed cooperative competitive environments.